I can't actually do it. I can't actually Jesus, do it, Matt. Jesus, Jeff. Uh, yeah. you, we, you, you had one job, and that was to, like, we got to uh, rage. Yeah, because it's rage selected. It's rage two, and it's a dojo. Y'all rage select playing rage two. <laughs> I'm rage, Jeff. I'm slightly perturbed, Matt. Oh, well, you get the fuck out of here. We only okay. have... It's only... No. Who else no. is going to get it at 11 o'clock at night? <laughs> well, that's that's a good question. Uh, <laughs> yes, but Rage 2 came out, and we are playing it. Woo. Um, spoiler alert, I already played a whole bunch of this, but... <gasps> Charlatan. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, space. Space. The final frontier. The raging frontier. Oh, man. It's what? also... Oh. oh, is that the... Wait, is this Prey? I that's, think I might have put uh, Prey oh, in by shit. accident. What? This world. What? Oh, Our like the Green New Deal. Them. We had such a, Yeah, this is... <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't have listened to... Uh, what's her acronym? AOC? AOC, yeah. we yeah. shouldn't have listened. This is what happens when you listen to AOC. It's yeah. Like, Meteor crashes into the It's all just liberals <laughs> everywhere. Oh, my God. This the, is the future liberals oh, want. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, oh. Wait, what are the arcs? I don't know. The ecopods. What? Okay. Life back into the barren land. Okay. So like there was gonna be like a I don't re I dude I do not remember the plot of Rage at all. I don't remember Rage like, there at was all. Supposed to be like there's like these pods that there are, are dinosaurs. There better be dinosaurs. Oh. Were thwarted oh. By the oh, it's Cyber Hitler. Fuck. Oh, as you do. The cleansing of our weakness. You know, someday I want to play a video game where there's a guy that looks and sounds like this, but he's like the good guy. Yeah. He's like the hero. Of course. He's well, like, I'm sure some we people will probably... will liberate this land. And you're like, oh, no, that sounds a great idea. I mean, I'm sure there are people already... Uh, well, you remember, motherfucker, there are people who are like, I don't understand why the Nazis have to be a bad guys in, in uh, Wolfenstein. Oh, so, well, I yeah. mean... Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Okay. Whoa! With their blue Whoa. hair. Wait a minute! It looks like an entire world full of the lead singer of uh, 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 the Prodigy. Oh shit! <laughs> Everybody's like, "Yo, the victim!" <laughs> Breathe in, <laughs> exhale, exhale. <laughs> Breathe in. Breathe in. Oh. The surgical culling of the weak. Oh no, you, dude, no, dude, go back to Kill Zone. That's where he, that, that's I mean, where this guy. Uh, all he needs is a gas mask. Actually, he looks like he's going to turn into a tiger. Look at his chest. Oh, yeah. He looks like, he's like, some he kind looks of, like he transforms. He's a Predacon, you oh, know? Oh, that would explain That's a what, lot. He's Megatron, a... you get out of this game. Mega, me, big, <laughs> you get out of this game. Form Predaking. Oh, no. Cross, cross, cross. cross. David Cross. David Cross. <laughs> David Cross. That's David Cross in the future. Oh, they, that they explains a lot. put his head in the lot. big cyber arm. <laughs> that explains a lot. All right, so what's going on? David Cross went off the deep end. Everybody's getting blown whoa, up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, meanwhile, on the toilet. <laughs> if our character is just taking a huge shit. Uh, oh. All right, the ranger. Okay, all so right. we got the... Oh, we get to... Did this game just get, like, 50 decibels, like, quieter? Spider? Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I, I've I, been playing with the lady. Let's see what the dude uh, is right. like. Yeah, grab your gear. Apparently, in the future, they don't have barbers. Yeah, uh, everybody just kind of has the same uh, haircut. We can grab a pistol. And yeah, that works. All right. Yes. Like, we don't okay. have machine guns mm -hmm. in the future, yep. apparently. No, of course not. And what's this? Something stupid. Oh, oh it's the Krull Glaive. I was about to say. It's the Krull Glaive. Yes. Because that was in the first game. The first game also had... A, whoa. Oh, shit. Whoa, no. mutants. Oh, well, she got him. Okay. I could have done that. Oh, come on, Lily. That was my kill. Yeah, you kill stealer. Yeah, I, pff, kill thief. Closest thing I ever had to family. Uh-huh. Uh grew up here in Vineland, raised by her drill sergeant of a mother. Me? I'm an orphan. I don't have a mother. What is this, like the, the Royal Tenenbaums in the future? <laughs> Where came from? I'm telling you... This is the big one. Maybe we should go outside right. and Let's go fuck get some. Thing. Let's get yeah, some. Let's do that. Don't salute that. me with your gun. That's really unsafe. Uns yeah. Uh, all right. We're gonna, all right. Leave we're the gonna, guardhouse. Uh, use the zip, zip line. line. Woo. I pay for this in Costa Rica. Uh, oh, oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Whoa. Mutant. So um, these mutants all have like, I don't think that's how that works. They've but. got like tiny baby arms. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But like, were they born with tiny baby arms? Do they like surgically implant the tiny baby arms on them, or it looks like maybe like, yes? Uh, I like how they're all like, "We are going to call the weak." And it's oh like, man, we got a bunch of call us. Call the baby army, the baby armed <laughs> army. Let us call the weak. 
Everyone knows arms are for pussies. <laughs> Call my armless baby arm man. Armless baby arms, and they have guns mounted on their shoulders. That's right, because that's the way that you do it. They can't cook, but who cares? Uh, no. Okay. Oh, Wait. Oh, he got he caught in like a the aloe vera. Cat. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a commercial on YouTube that was like, "We take the finest Japanese yogurt and then mix a what? bunch of aloe vera in it, Ugh. and here you can Whoa! eat that." Okay. Well, that's. That's not good. That's he's a big guy, but he's still only got one arm. It's fucking yeah! Like what? Are, what are all these baby arm guys? I don't know. Uh -oh. oh oh shit! It's Jersey. It's the Jersey ooh, Devil. Ooh. Oh, he's uh, my favorite hockey guy. Whoa. Oh, whoa! He's got teleporting, overdrive. Oh um, oh um. Yeah, throw it in there. Oh well, that. Oh my God! Oh, this well, didn't work so out much for that. This didn't work it out. Took his whole head off. Oh, well. We need, really need to shorten the fuses on these grenades, Sarge. Oh, oh I got man. Jersey all over me. Wow, I like how that was actually really funny. They were like, <laughs> they were like, oh man, it's Ranger Jersey. Oh. Put on the Ranger armor. Okie dokie. All right. I actually skipped over all the cutscenes in this opening part so that I could still <laughs> talk about them. You don't even take the body out. You just um. It, you just step in through the neck hole. Yep. <laughs> ah, I'm Ranger Jersey. Uh, uh, what was that? I was going to say, oh, I put this foot. on wrong. I put the boots on my hands. and. <laughs> wow. Okay. This is even better than I thought. Well, it clearly didn't him do him very much good. I mean, well, I mean, it gave him superpowers, apparently. Oh, thanks for a gun, finally. Thank God. All right. Big Ooh. cyber gun. Mm, Got all these, all these LEDs on it. It's all tricked out. All right. Exhibit gun. Um, you just, I just, I just was reminded. Um, well, uh, uh, so uh, today, uh huh, I uh, ran over to Walmart, okay, to buy a crazy Nerf gun, okay, and uh, like you do, I like mean, I you do, know, obviously, and uh, it was really funny because yeah, eat. Oh, oops, oops! I was I was looking around, and this kid was just kind of wandering around in the toy section, as you do, right. And he's like, like, you go to the toy section. I've got to buy booze. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> well, no, the kid was like, hey, uh, so you buying something for your son? <laughs> the kid like, said this to you? The kid was eight years old. And I'm like. Was he like drinking a cup of coffee? <laughs> Do a little suit on like, in the, like an airplane? Uh, yeah, right. Is <laughs> he like, reading the Wall Street Journal? Oh, man, it'd be amazing. Oh, man, your kid is going to love that one. Yeah, that's, oh, uh, that's, boy. A, that's, I get, new, that's, that's the same good. one I got for my son. That's a new Optimus Prime. Babies having sweet. babies. Yeah. That's, uh, no, he was just like, I was like, no, no, I'm buying stuff for, my, like, I'm buying stuff for myself. Uh-huh. And I was like, oh, but I'm looking for like a Nerf gun, though. And he's like, oh, I can help you find the Nerf guns. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Do you work here? Do you work on commission? Should I tell yeah, them, yeah. Billy, oh, Billy, help me out when I, I mean, check out? Or he clearly, like, yeah, right. He uh, clearly was like a like a like a weird kid, but yeah. that's what makes him cool because he's like, you know, the weird oh, kids right. are the cool ones. Um, eventually, yeah, those are your guys. Those are your guys. Eventually, eventually, eventually they'll be cool. Eventually, those so, are the cool ones. So he was like. We were just kind of hanging out while I was looking at Nerf guns, and <laughs> he was out. like, "Matt Frank's hanging out with eight-year-olds <laughs> again." As like as as you do. I mean, you and, know, uh, yeah, you know, you know. You, so I, you got to find somebody that likes Godzilla as much as you do, and you know. Now why old. you got to go with there? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, yeah, you're not entirely wrong though. Oh wait, look, uh, they have little baby arms. Why do they have baby arms? And where is that arm growing from? There's not like a shoulder or anything. Sh he's like shooting you. I mean, um, you know, not so effectively because yeah. he can't move his gun around because he's got baby arms. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, what that, oh, yeah, finish your finish No, your sorry. I, uh, just to finish the story, I gra I was looking at the Nerf guns. I'm like, oh, this one's pretty cool, though. And he's like, oh, but this one's got, like, more bullets. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty neat. And at one point he said, are you, like, a YouTuber? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, oh, wow, you nailed it. So uh, sort of. Yeah, sort of. And he's like, oh, that's cool. And then as I was kind of on my way out, he was like, Oh, what's your YouTube channel? And ah, I said, you are too young. You, <laughs> my friend, are not old enough. <laughs> and he was We're like, on the fourth Harry Potter book right <laughs> yeah. now, where Harry swears and does drugs. <laughs> uh, overdrive. Oh, I wish I could have told him Overdrive! That. So I just thought yeah. that, was, that, was a, that, was, that was just a weird part of my day. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, so anyway. Those little, those little baby arm guys, they remind me of what was the... Um, the first interdimensional cable where they had the baby legs. Oh, baby, baby legs, legs meet regular legs. <laughs> regular baby legs, <laughs> here we go. That's <laughs> not a bad one. Run. Oh, yeah. I just learned a real valuable lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, coming, baby legs. I'm regular legs. <laughs> yeah. I could do that all day. Yeah. 
I, I, these guys just they had some regular arms guys <laughs> well yeah okay listen somebody's putting the backpacks with the guns on them right there's a regular arm guy unless they're using their feet or something yeah hey buddy what's up melee oh, melee oh, okay oh. well you just well, you did it turned into jelly uh <laughs> who's okay who's yelling at me oh oh it's grandma oh grandma uh, sergeant grandma Get me the cookies! <laughs> You're not eating enough! The ginger snaps! You, get out there and... Oi! Pra... <laughs> what? No, it's the sergeant grandma. On, pr on, on Prowly. Prowly. I like it. Especially she turns into a police car. Oh, oh I like it. The meanest mom this orphan wild card never asked for. <laughs> I love you! Oh. You fuck! <laughs> He's the meanest why, mom. Uh, why can't you be more... That's not it. Now you're just Australian. <laughs> why can't you be more like your cousin Jerry? <laughs> that's, that's, I, she's, she's an Australian... We're going to Bendigo! <laughs> she's an Australian grandma. Yeah! Have Whoa. some ginger snap! Oh, grandma, oh. grandma, look out! Grandma, look There's out. A it's, a, it's, a, it's regular arms. Oh, no. <laughs> that's regular arms. That's the one mutant that has the regular arms. <laughs> that's why he's the strongest. Okay, the, uh oh. Uh -oh. David Cross. Man, he's got like a completely Arr. naked head skull. What? You think somebody yeah, could shoot him in the head? Also, do you not have any guns? Oh, that just seems that's just excessive. Arr. That's excessive. You already killed him. You can't feel it. I, I want the, the first gen Jenners. zoons. Go get them. Oh man. G1 Transformers only. A bedtime story for naughty kids like me. Each of it? Each all vegetables, all General Cross will get you, <laughs> my son. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't do Australian. Oi, bollocks, governor. <laughs> that's, Stand down. That's more British than, than I like. I still like it, though. Whoa. Oh, oh. I'm glad Big they, man McCool. They put the cyber diaper on him so I don't have to look at his giant baby. I mean, his giant baby dick. Can you imagine how much that thing poops? Uh. Oh, here's these guys again. You yeah. know, you could have shot at you her. Know, but yeah, they could have engaged, but they were like. I don't think. I don't think. Oh, look, that guy's got some arms. arms. Wait, he had but, monkey feet. He had like a cyber arm, though. So they're like cutting off their arms and then putting Whoa. robot arms on them? Oh, no. Whoa. Whoa. Now he's one regular arm. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine how much that thing You've must. You've been demoted, one oh, regular yeah. arm. Can you imagine how much that thing must poop? I mean, yeah. Lots, uh -oh. lots of poops. Poop it's like all. that. Wait, look at him. He doesn't have feet. He's got like, but like, like. Who are you? I was sent to spare the lives of you original archists for experimentation. Okay. Uh, is that like a sex thing? No, that'd that be weird. Metal dong that comes out of there, or that'd be weird. Erwina, that's her name. That's, no, Whoa! Commander Shepard. No. <laughs> Aunt Grandma. So wait a minute. What? Wait. He he. Like when he was introduced, he picked up like a piece of rebar and like killed that guy. And he had a big cyber blade like the big, entire big time. Gypsy danger sword. I mean, what the hell? I don't know. Also, you should put some cool armor on the outside. Also, is it like weird? Yeah. Yield signs or maybe a helmet. I mean, maybe. Just also, was it weird that like Aunt Grandma's ass was surprisingly well sculpted? I wasn't looking at the old lady's ass. Uh, so well, that's where you and I differ. That's uh, true. Hey. Hey. Hey, I'm not a robot. Oh, I'm yeah, not yeah, a robot. Yeah, yeah. I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. God damn. Fuck. Oh, I was conscious. Maybe give me some aspirin or like yeah, splash some water in my face. Your shiny new armor needed a jolt. Like a jolt cola? Yeah, tasty. A surge? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! What's worse, Surge or Mountain Dew? Oh! Ugh. I knew that I was old when I drank Mountain Dew, and I was just like, "Oh, oh, this is too sugary." Mm. <laughs> no, no, I like a good uh, Mountain Dew Baja Blast every now and then, but I'm a Code Red man myself. Ah. The cherry kind of evens out the he fucking Titanic <laughs> amounts of sugar. My yeah, I saw it in the cutscene. Oh. Hey, I'm like your friend or something, right? We're like <laughs> brother and sister, kind of. Well, we probably Adopted. had sex at least once. Adopted. I really believe the stories. That the authority would return. Oh, oh. God, that's a gigantic hand. How yeah. did they hide these guys the whole time? No, Underground. Mom knew what to do. The Rangers knew. Aragorn knew. Yeah. They kept their files, the logs. Gimli didn't really know, but he pretended like he did. Yeah. Yeah. The Rangers see 
Only rangers can go in there. Well, I got check out what I'm wearing. Look yeah, at I mean, yeah. check out the duds. Abracadabra. Yeah. Holy shit. Lily, my eyes are up here. Yeah, Lily, yeah. my eyes so are looking up at my dick. here. So okay. I'm looking at my dick. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Enter the Presidio. Okie dokie. Sure, why not? Um, why did they they so they just came to kill, but they still like left a whole bunch of us alive? I guess seems like a weird thing. Like they left these two guys. Got all the first geners. So, uh, first gen is like people who came out of the things. People who were alive when the asteroid dropped, I believe. Okay. And then, like, there's been all this apparently like genetic deformity, right? That's yeah. happened because of all the environmental changes. And so, like, gen first geners are like more genetically like. They're more valuable Pure or something. Yeah. I don't yeah. Know. Well, their, their DNA weird? isn't all fucked up by radiation and the wasteland so or what, something. But then what are we? I believe we are also a, a first gener. But they took all the first geners. Like I just said so. so right. What the but fuck we are were we? underneath like a we were underneath that big hand <laughs> and they thought we were dead. Right. But what about, our, what about all the armor. other guys who look normal? Those aren't first geners. Well, I don't then, think they did I don't think they necessarily have to be like Mutants, but I don't know. I don't know. The bad guy's it's, doing some <laughs> shit. I don't. I don't remember half of it. That's fine. John Goodman was in the first game, and it had what? a full cool shotgun. That's I believe weird. So. I believe. Yeah. All right. Uh, about my, uh, hey, let me in, Hal Nine Thousand. Ranger unit sergeant for one. It's like, is this gonna be like lasers? Look at that Resident Evil movie gonna come out. Yeah. Oh Shot me boy. All up. Oof. Hey, oh, look, hey. it's Sergeant Grandma. Hey. Somebody on the side's like, ma'am, do you want to put your gun down when you record the video? No. <laughs> no, I don't do. Oh, like, shit. What's her voice? <laughs> and the no, fuck you. I'll put my gun down. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Prime Minister. I, can, I like listening to it mutate. That's why I, I like the accent. Yeah. Uh, you're my yeah. hidden weapon. What am I? Well, okay. Uh, wait, were we the, f the, the, the special weapon? We're the speaker, secret weapon. Uh huh. Okay. I, I mean, I think that's what happened in the first game. I can't entirely remember. I'm sure. Who, who knows? I'm just kind of. I'm just kind of amazed that they made this. Like well, Rage Two. Well, they did all the rest of them, and it didn't make this. Okay. Like, uh, Avalanche Studios made this. They're the company that does Just Cause and like the uh, Mad Max game. Okay. And uh, they made that. Um, that kind of poorly received. Um, it was like an '80s mech game in like Sweden, where there was like mech invaders, and you and your high school friends are going to go out and destroy them or something like that. What? I don't even know about it that. It came out like a month or two ago. I uh, mean, I, the only the the closest thing that I know that you're describing is that other game by the guys who did Dragon's Crown, but it's a giant robot game. That game isn't out yet. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. That's why I was real confused. Um, so I just stick my hand into this strange hole. And <laughs> Woo! Friday All night! Right. Woo! Yeah, stick your hand in that strange hole, bro. Hand in the hole, hand in the hole. Uh, uh, hand in the hole, hand in the hole. So, uh, well. Oh, don't do that. Oh, don't do that. I'm gonna. Uh, Welcome to the simulation chamber. Oh. Yeah, so anyway, I've actually played a whole bunch of this. And, and okay. I mean, like I said, I don't. I uh, The story I've skipped over, but I played the actual game. And so you find these arcs. They're like old tech. They interface with your armor, and they give you superpowers, basically. Okay. Uh, the first one you get, this one is Dash, and it's super lame. Okay. Just like everything named Dash. Dash Rendar, uh, uh, what Sonic does. I mean. <laughs> uh, it's the, uh, it's the, the, the spin dash. dash. It's the spin dash. Yeah. yeah. Like, all the dashes are bad. Okay, dash So it. you basically just, it's like a little juke. Uh, uh, okay, chucking and jiving. And the thing is that you can you can upgrade. It, it's actually, I, I take it back. This ends up being somewhat useful when you're fighting big mutants and they're getting ready to punch you. Right. And you can just be like, wow, I'm out of the way. I was going to say, it right? requires two buttons. I can't imagine how intuitive it is for shooting dudes. Well, it's just, it's everything, all of the powers are connected to the L1 button. And I only have a couple of them so far, but what it seems like, God damn it. Uh, but what it yeah. seems like is that L1 by itself does the dash, right? But then, like, 
L1 plus square button does another thing. L1 plus X does another thing. L1 plus circle does the thing. So it's like L1 is your modifier to do all your power. So you don't have to like equip one. I get the feeling there's only like four or five total in the entire game. Uh -huh. But then you can upgrade all of them to several different levels and adding modifiers and all this stuff to it. Okay, so. okay. Yeah. I feel it. How, how, how are you liking it, like, gameplay-wise so far, like, overall? Like, uh, so here's the thing. Tell me. I don't think Avalanche Studios makes very good games. Like, Just Cause 3 kind of sucked. And Mad Max kind of sucked. And that mech game kind of sucks. And this game is okay. Uh, as near as I could tell. Like, it's just very much... I mean, like, the thing is that... I don't think it's... there. This one's got plenty of people that are doing... that are zero bombing it on Metacritic. Uh-huh. And a lot of that is like, this game has Denuvo on the PC, zero. And I'm like, eh. Oh, you fucking And, idiots. like, you can go to the... They, they actually, for some reason, the currency in the game, like, you can buy it in the store, so it has these shitty microtransactions, and it's like, well... I mean, gross, but, like, a zero is a bit much. Um, so, I don't know. I'm going to keep playing it. Like, it's the sort of game, Matt, I don't know if you know uh, this sort of game, where it's like, uh -huh. you're, it's kind of repetitive, but it's also pretty fun. Like, the gunplay is pretty solid. The special attacks, you know, are, are cool looking, and you can do all kinds of groovy shit with them. Sure. Um so it's the sort of game where it's not like I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just kind of like, okay. I mean, like, it's a great kind of thing. It's, gr it, it's Grandpa. It's Santa. Santa, Santa Claus. Yeah. Santos L. Halper. John Marshall. Ah. John Marsden. Oh, that's what happens that's what in the future. To uh -huh. um, he got plucked out of the time, and then he got sent to the future. Of course. Along with Meryl from Metal Gear Solid. Uh, of course. Lusum Hagar. That's the most made-up name of all time. <laughs> all right. Lusum Hagar. Oh, that's fun. She's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Let's name her Lucem. Oh, yeah. And then this guy. Ah, that's that's Anton Kvasir. Ah. He rides around on a big mutant. I'm here to, to, to tell you how to win the war. Eisenhower. Uh, um. <laughs> it's just like, just like, it's just, it just says things like, Oh, D-Day, <laughs> the typewriter. I don't think he's. I don't think anybody's alive. The cotton that's gin. That old, actually. Well, no, that's that's what that's what that's. I just that's really funny to me as somebody who's like he thinks that's just what old people say. Oh <laughs> that's yeah, that's just what he's locked on in on. You walk on in on me. He's reading a book that just is titled "What Old People yeah. Shit Old People Say." Uh, shit, my grandma says. Walkmans. Oh, your kids aren't as good as we were when we were children. Back in wa our day, we. We were more racist, <laughs> and that meant we were better. <laughs> but then, uh, yeah, apparently, like we're also wandering off into a uh, guy from Pet Cemetery, and I feel like on a long enough timeline, that accent eventually becomes just Bane. Oh uh, yeah. So sometimes Dad's better. <laughs> That's right. You were born in the wasteland, molded you, by it. What are you doing, Wall Rat? Sergeant Ezra. All right. <laughs> what are you doing? You give me the fucking stink eye. I'm a ranger now. All right. So the but the the basically here's what it is, right? Uh -huh. um, these three people were working with Aunt uh, Grandma uh, hmm. to do this project called Project Dagger that was supposed to be the way to like take out the, uh, David Cross. Um, but uh -huh, uh -huh. at some point, Sergeant Major Grandma, um, like, ditched the project and, like, started up this Vineland community. Okay. And we don't, I don't know why yet. Um, so we got to go reconnect with all her old bros and then get this Project Dagger thing off the ground so we can kill David Cross and save the world. You got a little moth. No, it was dirt. Um, oh, it's from the fan. Sorry, just I just like ah. <laughs> oh, right. We were we were fighting a bug earlier. <laughs> yeah, a large bug that uh, invaded uh, Jeff's home. So anyway, yeah. From here, we get the actual map. Okay. And so we're Jesus Christ, like we're trying to get up just to kinda keeps going, doesn't it? Our first checkpoint. We're gonna we're gonna swing by a couple of these arcs on the All way. Right. That's cool. Uh, so uh, the guns or the uh, the. Uh, 
vehicles are pretty cool. All I right. mean, they all have a boost. Uh, you can do this, like, juke move Ooh, with them, woo, which is kind of cool. Woo, oh, God. They all have... Ba -ba 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 Most of them have guns. As you do. Uh, and then everything can be upgraded, Matt. Everything. Every single thing in this entire all game right. can be upgraded. You got upgrade for your magic powers. You got upgrades for your guns. You got upgrade for your cars. You got upgrades for yourself. You got upgrades for... just. To, to, to up some other upgrades too. I'm, I'm some getting projects. Some, I'm getting some hard, uh, like Horizon Zero Dawn flashbacks here. Oh god damn it! Oh okay. Road choker. That's weird. Yep. Assholes. Clog. Hey, hey, get out of here. Hey, get out of here. You, shoot those barrels. All right. Oh. Do they not? They, they will. They just oh, take a little okay. bit more thought... to to do. Uh huh. Uh, now you're dead. Open the door. Jesus Christ. A lot happening. The I mean the gunplay is fun. And a lot of the uh, a lot of the things that you get, like a lot of the upgrades that you get, like add more fun stuff to do. So for example, like the first uh, like the, you have a pistol and you have a uh, you have a pistol and you have this machine gun, but then like you get a shotgun. But then the shotgun's kind of cool because it's like the first thing that the shotgun does. Nice. Oh. Is um, the shotgun when you hold down the L2 button, it makes it into a slug thrower instead of a spraying shotgun. Okay. Uh, which is cool. And then like you get a pistol where you shoot people with the pistol, and Money. then uh, when you hit the L2 button, it sets them on fire. And it's oh, like that's pretty cool. That's cool. Some of the cyber or some of the power gadgets I've got. One is like, uh, you just uh, fuck you, dude. I'm not even gonna stick around here. Yeah, why? I mean, who uh, cares? One of them is like, you telekinetically blast people with your hand. Oh. And like all of the raiders have like armor. Like you saw the armor like coming off of the raiders. Yeah. So that blast can also be used to like soften up targets by uh. pulling the armor off of them. And then the upgrades are like, you know, more powerful, reduces the cooldown time. Uh, you know, just that shit. Where am I going? I don't okay, know. thing on the road. Something's something is exploding. Behind yeah, you. I think I know what it is. God Whoa! Damn it. Whenever you do that, this thing, you can't turn worth a shit. Wait. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, All right. Here we go. All right. Uh. Uh -huh. Which. So 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 it's kind of just like a medium grade open world shooter. And, and why are people review bombing it? Because uh, it's got okay. something about PCs? All right, so a few different reasons. One is that it has De Nuvo, which is a, a DRM copy protection that people uh, on the PC hate because it has to do, like, constant checks to the Internet. What? Why? Is this your <laughs> girlfriend? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, which slows the game down. Of and, course. And any time, like the last Sonic game... That had Denuvo. I think it was. I think it was either Mania or Blast or something. Had Denuvo, and they review bombed it until they took it out. Uh, another one of the reasons that I saw was just straight up. This game has microtransactions. Like, uh, of course. Now, now the thing is that if the game doesn't, if it feels like a really big slog to upgrade without doing the microtransactions, well, okay, then I can get behind. Let's say that that's not cool, right? Sure. But. I need to know that first, and you know. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's like if it's just microtransactions, and they're. I mean, is, there have been games without microtransactions where the back half of the game has been a slog, due to just the way that the game is put together. Oh, right? of course. I mean, that's uh, that's nothing new. Yeah. So, uh, one of them too is that. Uh, I, I hate even bringing yeah, this shit up. Yeah, yeah. Tell me. Tell All me. the women in the game are ugly because of SJWs, and that's the way that. that really? Uh, yep. Yeah. But I. That, I mean, I. I. I okay. Whenever any, whenever any review has the letters SJ and W in it, I kind of just start tuning it out. Well, yeah, uh, because a, a functioning adult doesn't use the words SJW unironically. The main issue, I mean, the problem that I keep coming to with this stuff is that it's like. Like, one problem does not a zero make. Some of it has been this game is the campaign for this game is only 10 hours long, and $60 is too much to pay for a 10 hour campaign. Now, there's a bunch of other Radiant Quest stuff that you could do outside of that 20 hours. Uh huh. But, like, there are plenty of people who will just thumbs down a game on Steam because I don't, I think if you pay $60 for a game, that it should be 30 plus hours just out of principle. But, um, that's 
Yeah. <sighs> people just do that, you know? It's uh, like, you can't, I mean, you know, there's no rules. You can't make, so here's the, uh, here's this one. Ooh, that's fun. Cool. Um, yeah. This uh, one upgrades pretty well. I mean, I remember back when, I, shit, I, I just was reminded of back when I was seeing reviews for Final Fantasy X, mm -hmm. and people were saying, oh, it's only 70 hours long, uh, so it's pretty short. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm like, I don't have time in my life. <laughs> yeah, I mean, quite like frankly, a 10-hour campaign and like 10 or 15 hours of other stuff I is exactly the kind of game that I would be interested in playing like this. So the thing is that I've played it, I've looked at it, and the thing is I don't know that I, I don't really agree with a lot of the stuff that people are saying are problems. However, um, this is what let's happens. just say this is not as the same caliber as like Doom or Wolfenstein when uh -huh. they came out. Like, those were better games. Hey, like, of course. Uh, some amazing gear. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty jealous right I mean, now. I don't know. I thought Lily was kind of cute. Your, your sister person. Oh, yeah. But it's like, also, like, whatever. There's tons of games out there where the women aren't, like, super hot. It's just, just the aesthetic of the game. Yeah, I don't need to be attracted to the women of Rage 2. I, but again, I mean, it's like, I, that's what I've been saying for years, is that it doesn't matter what it is. It's, I mean, it matters to some people. It does not matter at all to me. Like, well, I do not give, I could give less of a shit whether everybody was was a super hottie or Well, that's, or not, why, so. that's why whenever anyone uses the words SJW, I'm just kind of like, like you said, I just kind of tune them out because I'm like, then it doesn't matter what your argument is because it's inevitably, oh, okay, go back the other way. Yeah. It's it's going to be something, it it, it it could be anything. It could literally be anything, yeah. regardless of the motivation, regardless of even if it was an intentional choice or not. Well, plus, I mean, the thing is that I don't want to get too hung up on on the SJW thing because that guy tried to roundhouse kick your car. Good, <laughs> good. John Claude Van Damme out here in the wasteland. Oh, yeah. uh, but see, the thing because the thing is that there's also people that are 100 percent like so if a game has uh, microtransactions, it's garbage, right? Yeah. Like, the thing is that I've been I've been kind of fighting this with a little bit with Mortal Kombat, where you know Mortal Kombat does have microtransactions. It does allow you to buy to unlock certain things, but like, is it egregious? Is it intrusive? But then again, I, I keep coming down to this thing. Like with Mortal Kombat, I was thinking the other day about like, but well, Mortal Kombat, like people people's complaints about that the game it takes too long to unlock everything in Mortal Kombat, and I just think. Well, that was never my intention. Like, I was never interested in unlocking every single thing in a NetherRealm game. And if it, if I was, I would want it to take time. Because my primary reason for playing Mortal Kombat is to whoop ass, not to unlock shit in the crypt. It's Hell like, yeah. it's to whoop ass. And I don't care what skin I get to use. I've been trying to get the same Katana skin since that game came out. Yeah. I haven't got it yet. But anyway, I, it's, it's, it's fine. It's just... Uh, it, the main thing is that, like, it's one of those things where there's, like, a... There's a big discrepancy between, like, the, the critic scores and the, um, uh, like, the user scores. Of course. Like, it's mixed on Steam, and it's, like, you know, 70 on Metacritic with, with like, a 2.3 This is what happens when you score. convince the masses that their opinion matters. Um. And so, you know, <laughs> I went to go read it just to be, like... The problem that I keep running into is that, that nobody's actually... Nobody... Nobody's reviewing games anymore. No. It's just like, did I like it? Or, like, if a game has some things that I don't like and some things that I do like, then maybe it gets a 7 out of 10, not a 0. Not, like, 0. Zero's the worst right. I mean, score well, you could give. And you have the opposite problem of people being like, you know, you didn't give this, this game, this game... A, you, didn't a give 10. The, you didn't give the game a 10. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, and I gave it an 8. Oh, it's a low score. And it's like, no, it's not. And right. It's a so, good score. I, I, I mean, I, I mostly, I, I think a lot of we get these questions a lot about like, oh, well, how do you how do you do online review? Or like, who can you trust online? I'm like, you can't trust anybody. Because if you really want to know what's up with the game, you're going to have to actually read the reviews. And, uh, you know, even then, you can't be assured that somebody isn't just... That somebody isn't given the uh, given a, a, a Breath of the Wild a twenty to get clicks on their web page uh -huh. because they're listed on Metacritic, right? 
because yeah. the lowest score will get posted, and then everybody will be like, "What? Yeah. What? Why? The, Why would the, you do that?" Exactly. The number, the number, the whole number system. It's like everybody numbers stuff differently. Right. So I don't know. Like I said, I'm I'm to a point now. Oh yeah, this is double jump. We get a little double jump. I'm at a point now where. I played this game for probably about four hours before you came over here. I think it's fine. I don't think it's going to be my game of the year. And I think that, like, both um, Doom and Wolfenstein were surprisingly good. Like, when I played them, I was like, oh, okay, we just got a little cash grab going on over here, huh? In software. Yeah. Just, uh, just cashing in on, on your thing. Goodbye. Uh, and then I played them, and I was like, holy fuck, these are the greatest games I've ever played. <laughs> this is like, this one I had high hopes for, and then it was like, eh, it's okay. I mean, you know, kill some time. If you're if you're big into cost, it's probably not worth an entire $60. Probably wait till it goes down to like 30 or 40 It also seems yeah. like the sort of game that at some point is definitely going to be a PlayStation Plus game. Uh, oh sure. I mean, I, I mean the original Rage. That's why I was I was saying it's like this seems like such a kind of an arbitrary thing because the original Rage like didn't really set the world on fire. It was very uh, <laughs> is, that a fall, is that a Fallout joke, Matt? Fallout? No, Jeff. Oh, never. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't even fucking. Um, wow. No, uh, you guys heard it. Matt said Fallout sucks. Uh, well, even the original one. Apparently, in the wake of Fallout seventy six, that entire franchise of Persona non grata. So whatever. Well, then I mean, I I've been bringing this up on the podcast, but then the other thing is like, what exactly is happening over at Bethesda right now? Oh yeah. Like I mean, you know, Blades and Fallout seventy six, and just like. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff where it's like, is something, do you guys need to talk to somebody? Or like, <laughs> what exactly is it that's causing all of this? I mean, who Did knows? That, did I just shoot that lady's brain out of her head? I saw, I've seen that happen a couple of times. See, I've seen a skull pop out of a skull. Ow. Oh, ow. Um, no confusion. I mean, as you can see, though, I mean, like, it's, the action is pretty solid. You just kind of be bopping around and you yeah. cut people's legs off. You run up, you give one of That's these, neat. blap them up against the wall. Bada bing, bang, neat. boom. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, well, anyway. So, not the greatest. <laughs> anyway, let's wrap it up. We'll yeah. do, uh, we'll probably try to get over to the uh, the town tomorrow. Fuck off. I'm leaving. I took, <laughs> I took all your tech and I'm leaving now. So. <laughs> what are you going to do about it now? Eat my wasteland dick. Woo! Whatever your problems are, mutants, scavengers, Mutants. raiders. I don't know what your problem mm -hmm. is. Who knows anymore? Some kind of dumb wasteland problem. Whoa. Oh, oh it's a roaming trader. Hey, stop. Stop. Stop, roaming trader. Come on. Stop, Trader Joe. Trader Joe. Trader Joe. Trader Joe, come back. I need some locally sourced kale. Oh, well. Here. All right, fine. I'm not going to well, chase oh, him. Oh, man. That's we're going stupid. To a, we're going okay. to a town. There's going to be a uh, there's gonna be a fucking store there anyway. Of course. Here's a gas station. No, no. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, if you'd like to see these videos a day earlier, you can always head on over to Rage Select where we got all kinds of fun. Nope, nope, that's not true. Man, I said it every day <laughs> for like five years, and yep. now it's just it's just automatically comes yep. out of my mouth. You don't need to do that, but you should like and subscribe and ring the bell. Well. And if you do want to, if YouTube ain't showing you the Rage Select goodness that you want, you can always go to RageSelect.com. Sure. And uh, check Follow on out. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter, too. Yeah. 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 Uh, Matt posts things that are not just about Rage Select. No, that's true. I post about lizards sometimes. That's true. Yeah. Uh, exclusively. We got a Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Rage Select. Kick us some bucks, and in return, we'll kick you bonus videos. Nobody else gets to see them. Oh, look at the Baby Arms Brigade. Oh, wild Baby Arms. Yep. Here comes a wild Baby Arms. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing it, brah. Who's that? Start race. I don't want to race him. I want to fucking shoot his car to death. I don't want to race you. Oh, it won't even let me. Get off the road. Uh, Patreon.com <laughs> forward slash Rage Select. Kick us some bucks. Get some bonus videos. Help Rage Select be a thing. Join our Discord server. Most active. And, um, yeah, I'm on there some of the times. Woo! Da -da 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 -da. Uh, oh, God. Uh, also, we should have some Amazon links down below for this one. So if you want to buy a thing off of Amazon, do us a favor. Start by going to our links. And then from there, you can buy this and then we get, or, or whatever you want to, we get some money for it. Everybody goes home a winner. You get stuff from Amazon. We get the money. Uh, the monies. Yeah. Oh, the money. Oh, shit. They're shooting rockets. Uh, Matt, where can people find you on the internet? 
Well, you guys can find me over at MattFrankArt.net. Do the single in the baby. Sorry. Um, no, that's what you say when you say ring the bell on YouTube. Oh, uh, yeah. That's you gotta ring the bell. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. I can subscribe and read that bell. See every butthole. What? What? Uh, uh, what? <laughs> MattFrankArt.net. <laughs> um, okay. I've also, it's got a link to all my other shit, like my YouTube channel and this YouTube stuff and my other YouTube stuff, like Disaster Quest and my Can podcast you, and Gigantic Quest. And you can watch Matt. Uh, open up Godzilla toys. Yes, I've been doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, been doing because um, uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters comes out this month. I've got a little bit of signing tour going on, you know, uh, starting uh, May the weekend of May 25th, and then the uh, next weekend, the weekend the movie actually comes out, mm -hmm. May 31st. I'm going to be running around, have, doing some signings in the Texas uh, area. There you go, in Austin, San Antonio, and Houston. That's the current plan. So nice. Keep an eye open on my website and you know, on my on my social media and stuff, and you'll see it. All right, uh, join us back here tomorrow for part two of Rage Two Woo! here on Rage Select Woo! Two. Two co-hosts, Rage, and just Tony apparently. <laughs> Bye.